loving kindness, someone who much better than me. If they want to fight me, I say, don't fight me. Be nicer to be kind to people. Something you can go on. This whole boy is based on my three of NG one day, pushing out. I change that thing. That's not important. It's much nicer than you. Open. And because of that, you lose in tennis. If you cannot honestly trust what you say, you cannot understand what you feel in the heart match. What you speak, that your action does not match what you have in your mind. How is it possible you can ask the boy to work with you? So more practice and more form cannot help you. In fact, you give a sense of vibe, you feel like, oh, I'm better now than before, I'm better than so and so. Like classical teaching, remind people to say, be humble. Understanding all things is good. That nothing is solid. In fact, suffering does not exist. It exists because we give it the power to exist. Why? Your body work towards to maintain the dynamic to support it to exist. That's why in classical training, the first thing we're actually being taught is not about physical exercises. It's about it's about conduct. How do we behave? To be sincere mean, whatever you do, you act in your heart and your mind, 100%. Each go by the nature of what they have. Since we have a nature that most people don't realize, you already have a nature. A nature is beautiful. Whatever you are, you become that. Because you become that, you're not based on vibrate, it becomes like less merge and get along. Let's understand each other. Is it that the basic of relationship? Relation between yourself and your partner, yourself and people you work with, yourself and your brother and sister, yourself even with the car that you drive, the tool that you use, but understand your nature and apply it. The truth about Kong in Australia is all is of emptiness. You will understand what's, how selflessness we really are. If you can see beyond that, then you will rise above all suffering. Whatever it comes, you learn how to deal with it. By first understanding nature, and then by understanding nature, by becoming a part of this nature. But before you do that, you have to learn about sincerity. That is, you're going to have to divide in a way whereby whatever you think, whatever you do, match. That's before sincerity. With that come insight, which is another word for wisdom that gave by experiences. And once you have that, you can learn to cultivate yourself. By cultivating yourself, next, you can cultivate other people. And through this merging and working with nature, that is what in the classics refer as merging with heaven and earth. You are no longer just a human, you are part of everything. Every person you see, you see that as your own mother, as your own father, as your own brother, as your own sister, as someone who has been your best friend. <coughs> if this is the case, how can you act unkindly towards others? After. <coughs> From the foundation. Home, understanding, whatever you feel important today, tomorrow is gone. So, this way, when you <coughs> come upon good fortune, you accept that, say, I thank you for this. And you accept it from an impermanent point of view. That is, well, it's good now, tomorrow, pass the best times. And as a result, you don't get excited about it. Yeah. Things are not going so well, so well, I hurt myself and I lost my job, so well. Examine, understand the dynamic of cause and effect. That is, whatever happened now is a result of something happened before. If that's the case, that means you are responsible for it. If you are responsible for it, then you say, I am grateful it happened. Allow me a chance to purify the divine in my mind. As a result, you allow this to come through. And that is what we call as pastoral Qigong practices. 
you don't start out working with energy first, you start with understanding your own nature. By practicing cultivating sincerity, cultivating reverence, cultivating humility, cultivating gratitude. That's why all things you embrace, you embrace with your whole heart.